Hello there, boys and girls. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Sir Alex Ferguson save. Hope you're well. Hope you are all okay out there. Uh, since we last met, we've played a few games, as you can see on screen. We've got today the Athleti game, second leg of the Champions League first knockout round. And we might have the draw if we get through on that one. Plus, we've got a home game against Leicester, who see themselves in 10th in the Premier League. But uh, since we last met, we played Everton in the Premier League, beat them 2-0 at home. Arnie Meyer and James Madison scoring their goals there. We then played that uh, that local derby in the FA Cup fifth round against Sunderland. Fetty Arp from the penalty spot, sneaking us through to the sixth round where we play Spurs. And we'll bring you that game tomorrow. We go away to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium for the sixth round of the FA Cup. Think, if memory serves me, they're the ones that knocked us out last season uh, in the FA Cup. No, was it? No, we got to the FA Cup final last year. Um, I thought they obviously have knocked us out somewhere down the line. Lots of seasons in this game. So, uh, so yeah, getting a bit mixed up there. Um, we then played uh, West Ham and Bournemouth at home. Beat them both 3-1 uh, against West Ham. Keane, Arp and Larrison scoring the goals with... Dylan Beal scoring the goal for the Hammers. And then against Bournemouth, Larrison double and Fetty Arp with his goal. Andre Ivan actually squared the game up on the 36 minute, but came back in the last 20 minutes and scored the win there. And then we went away to Brighton. They're actually in the top six still and a real tight game here at the Amex. And uh, Larrison scoring goals for fun at the minute. Changed his role up a little bit and he seems to be absolutely loving it. Aldolfo with the uh, game winner 15 minutes from time and uh, Cal Silva uh, scoring the goal for Brighton that uh, made it a little bit nervy going into that final few minutes of the game. But this is how the league looks. 15, um, but this is how the league looks. We're 13 points clear of Liverpool, who we will play in the next couple of episodes. And uh, they are probably the ones that are only going to catch us, really. Arsenal have dropped off um, in recent weeks, and now they're uh, they're massive uh, eight points behind Liverpool. Chelsea, a huge deficit, 12 points behind Liverpool, and massive points behind us. There we go, Brighton in fifth uh, on 51 points. Tottenham won the uh, Carabao Cup against a League One Ipswich, which is uh, bizarre. Uh, they see themselves in sixth. City in seventh. Everton in 8th and United in ninth. United really dropping down. Uh, Pep is actually in charge of United. Before we get into today's games, as always, if you are enjoying the series, hit that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell icon so you're notified every time a video goes live. That's everything caught up. Let's get into this game against Atleti. This is going to be the lineup. We've got Rakivic in goal, Van Zanten at right back, Tellier still not back from his injury. Borconi and Zagadou are the middle two with Palau on that left-hand side. Larrison and Teixeira in the middle here. I've changed one up from a box-to-box -box, because we were just shooting far too many long shots. Change them up to either a center, central midfield on support or central midfield on attack. And Teixeira and Larrison could just switch between those two um, two roles depending on who we want in that uh, central midfield role. Perry on the right because Mbolo's out for about four or five weeks. Uh, Terraciano in behind Fetiart with Moise Keane on that left-hand side. Marin again injured. Those two wingers are probably going to be on their way out if we have another season uh, next year. Fetiart up top on the bench. Bevis, Enrique, Maya, Latte, uh, Madison, Edimar and Aldolfo. Uh, Cook suspended because he got sent off in the first leg and uh, Tellier is injured. Let's get into it. Second leg against Athletic it's one apiece we have the away goal can we go through oh with the ball he's into the first minute here we've uh just started off and now Teixeira we've got time and space to run into goes to Perry on that right hand side can't get the ball in falls to Van Zanten Teixeira's there Keane's there and he puts us 1-0 up inside the first minute probably our most consistent performer this season Moise Keane with his 17th goal this year Perry driving down that right hand side trying to get that ball in but the left back cuts it out Van Zanten this time does get it in Teixeira has his shot blocked falls to Keane we're 2-1 up now from far out, dinks it into Teresiano. It's a great save by Old Black. The shot straight at him. We're still on the attack though. Porcone being driven back and good defence from Atleti. But so a golden opportunity for Teresiano to uh, put us 2 0 up on the night. Uh, Teixeira driving forward into Will Perry on that right hand side. He does his man into the young Italian driving into the penalty box, trying to get that cross in, but falls to Teixeira. Lawrenson in really good form at the minute goes back to Keane into Lawrenson. Bit half 
half yard, but goes to Perry. Ball in, Fetty Arps there, get beaten in the air, but falls back to Will Perry. The young Englishman coming in to the side because Embolo's out injured, and he puts us 2-0 up on the night. 3-1 on aggregate inside the first 15 minutes. Good ball out to him. He tries to get this ball in. Lovely ball in. Oh, getting beaten in the air, and he just... Runs onto it, left-footed on the uh, on the uh, inside of his foot, and it's a lovely finish. Two 0 on the night, three one on aggregate, and that is half time. Two 0 up on the night uh, after that Perry goal. Nothing really happened. Dominant here against Athletic. Uh, Celtic are making a game of it against Dortmund, but Dortmund have two away goals, so it looks like uh, Celtic can have to score three more to go through there at Parkhead. Going to get into the team talk. Just say, do not get complacent. Things can turn around. Of course, Rakovic looking a little bit stressed. I'm just saying you weren't that bad. I believe you got what it takes. Turn him around like you always do. And uh, let's get into it. Oh, Black, with the uh, free kick, it looks like someone's probably offside. Launch that ball forward, but Zagadou brings that ball down. And Lawrenson driving forward. Ah, oh, lovely switch out to Will Perry. Can he get a ball in this time? He can into the back post, but heavy, heavy cross from the Englishman. Good uh, good ball in from Moyes Keane. But I think it might be... Uh, might be yes it is it, it is being overturned Arp looked like he pushed our black unlucky for us not to go 3-0 up Borgia Inglesias picking up the ball on the halfway line and going into Saul in the middle of midfield out to Lindelof now about 12 minutes left of the game if they score now makes the last last few minutes of this game a little bit more nervy good patient play here from Atleti Klesniak into the back post and Wow, what a miss that is from their right winger. Hits that ball over. Fructoso uh, not getting that ball on uh, on target. Could have made it really nervy for us. 3-2 going into the final 10 minutes. Uh, would have made it really, really nervy. But we, uh, we come across... Uh, we come away from that and we're coming into the final few minutes now. Uh, Luis Enrique picking up that ball into Larison Quickly to Madison. Goes for goal and Oblak is well behind that. And it's going to be a Madison in swinging corner to see if we can put another one past this athletic side. It's a poor, poor corner from uh, Madison. And Perry gets tackled by Saul. But Teixeira picking up the ball and good tackle again from Saul. The, uh, the old experienced midfielder in the middle of uh, the midfield for Athletic. We're coming in to the final few seconds of the game now. Teixeira, he's going to go for a shot. No, goes short to Larison. Lovely ball over the top to Luis Enrique. Cannot find him. And uh, I think that will be it. Full-time whistle goes. Newcastle 2, Madrid 0. 3-1 on aggregate. And... Uh, Business done in the first 15 minutes. Will Perry, well up for this one. 8.5 him. Really good to see him taking that opportunity that uh, Mbolo has, uh, has given him. I'm going to go into the dressing room and just say, uh, very pleased with your result and the performance. We're now going to Leicester in a few days' time. But before we get into the uh, Leicester game, we've had youth intake day and We've got a couple of corkers here. First one, Scott Ellis, two-star current ability Nearly a five, four and a half, five star player. And look at the attributes of the boy. He's 16 years old, five foot ten, can play in that deep line playmaker role, can play further back, a little bit like uh, Declan Rice, who we brought in this season. So he could be the replacement for him. And he might be in and around the first team sooner than he thinks. Um, probably retrain him as uh, playing slightly forward in that deep line playmaker role on defend. And uh, yeah, it'll be fantastic. Will Scott Ellis. And then if we have a look at potential, we've got Harrison Jackson who can play in that attack, attacking midfielder role. Uh, he can also play further forward or slightly further back, but he's uh, an advanced playmaker. One star current, four and a half star potential. We've also got another goalkeeper, Martin Ferguson. He needs a lot of work to get anywhere near us, but he is 15 years of age. Um, and then Gianna, Gian Maria Campana, uh, Italian left back, uh, three star potential half a star current ability but that Scott Ellis lad if we do do another season he might see him in the first team uh, next year fantastic potential we just need to uh, realize it now we will go on to that Leicester game here we go then same lineup that's going to go against Leicester that started against Atleti do not change a winning formula so you know the team let's get into it let's see what Leicester are bringing to St James's Park we played before Liverpool this weekend, and they're playing with a 4-1-4-1. Seeing this a hell of a lot, eight seasons in, when you get a dominant uh, team 
in this year's FM. They just go all defensive. They might not no normally play that formation, but teams do try and shut up shop against us. So Lafontaine goal, Castanier, Zuma, Benkovic, and Rodriguez are the back line. Belmonte in front of them, uh, Mahaley, uh, Sanson, Elmas, and Calisto uh, are the midfield five, and then in Iniacho up top. Lots of real life players in there, which is uh, strange to see eight seasons in. Um, let's get into it though. Looking for another three points. If we play like we did against Atleti, uh, we should win this one pretty comfortably. Allow with the throw in. Finds Teresiano. Whips that ball into Perry, but gets tackled, but it falls back to Teixeira. Into Balao again on this left hand side. Falls back to Lorison. Cutting inside. Finds Teixeira. Got time and effort to go for a shot. And Zhao Teixeira scoring his fifth goal of the season. Even though Lorison's not scoring in this one so far, he's setting the plays up and he's been in great form. In recent games, in recent weeks, Larison just laying it off to his midfield partner, drilling it from about 20 yards out, bottom right-hand corner, 1-0 Newcastle. And straight after we've scored, Le Leicester on the attack, but good tackle from Van Zanten on Iheanacho. He's very, very isolated there, as you can see, where we're compared to where the rest of his player teams are. Keane whipping that ball in, trying to find Fetal. Falls to Terraciano on the outside, and he cuts back in. Lovely shot from Simone. Terraciano had his injury uh, issues this season, but he's coming good towards the end of this year. Keane starting this up, probably from our own half, driving forward, trying to find that ball ball in no one there but Teresiano picking up that loose pass going left but then shooting the opposite way lovely finish from the young Italian 2-0 just before half time. Can we go 3 0 up? Larison back to Bellao. Whips that ball in, trying to find Fetty up. Falls to Teixeira, but shot very, very tame towards Lafont. And he's going to launch this ball forward, hope, uh, trying to find um, in the, in the Acho, but. A aimless kick from uh, from Lafont. We go again. Lorison down this uh, left hand side finds Belau. Can we get an early ball in? We can. Can't f find Arp enough there. Perry back to Teixeira. Can he find a ball through? No. Has to go out to Belau. Cutting inside himself. Teixeira. Can he find a ball into Perry? Does Perry goes for another left footed shot like he did against Atleti, but just wide this time from the young Englishman. The two wingers and Arp not having the greatest games uh, in this one, but we are. 2-0 up. We are leading the Foxes here. Uh, I'm just going to get into the team talk again. Do not get complacent. We want you to play the same way as you did in that first half. And I'd say you, there's a lot more to come. With Fetty up, I'm going to say uh, your finishing's been absolutely atrocious and hopefully that'll fire him up and uh, he will score in this second half. Porcone comes in and goes, thank you very much. Uh, Teresiano getting the ball into that little pocket, into Teixeira. Perry again, trying to find a black and white shirt. This time, Fetty has got it. 20 yards out, goes for a goal, and Fetty Arp this time puts it in to the back of the net. 14th goal of the season. I think it's his 10th in the league. Very quiet season this year from both our strikers in the league. Perry finding Lorison, not rushing the pass. Finds Fetty Arp, turns his man, and he just whips that in. Top right-hand corner. Lafont, absolutely no chance. 3-0 Newcastle. Final 20 minutes. Lots of action in this game against Leicester. Teixeira into Edimar again. Cutting inside. Finds Teresiano this time. Arp is now isolated. Running the ball down to that left-hand side. Trying to find uh, Arp at the back post. But finds Edimar. We get the ball back to Belau. Trying to find Arp. But uh, Belmonte gets that ball clear. But Zagadou with Iheanacho up on his own. No one really helping him. Easy claim for him. Midfield again, going through the motions. Into Teixeira, Edison. Into uh, trying to find Fetty up. Leite's there, hits the post. And uh, Rodriguez gets that ball clear. Oh, it's an own goal. It's a goal for Simone Teresiano. It went away for a corner kick. And corners this year on FM haven't been the best. Um, but we've scored from one. Uh, well, off of one anyway. Keane getting the ball out to um getting the running down that right hand side, drills the ball in, and I thought it was an own goal. Thought it came off the uh, the defender there, but came off Tedesiano, his second goal of the game. 4 0 now to Newcastle. Rodriguez in swinger. Can he find a blue shirt? A little bit too much on it. Fetty up. Is he going to get there? No, he's not. And uh, we get the ball, hopefully, under control. Iheanacho on his own. He's turned. Pocone there. And it's 4 1 with about. 15 minutes to play. Fetty Arp should have done more to get there, but Elmas launches that ball uh, ball clear, and uh, it's a missed header from Porcone, and Ian Atro just slots that one home. 4-1 Newcastle. 
Maite in swinger, trying to find a black and white shirt. Enemar into Keane, and it's 5-1. Bit of pinball wizard in the uh, in the 18-yard box there, and it falls to Moyes Keane, 18th goal of his season. Enemar setting him up. Laite trying to get that ball into the back post where Fetty Arp is. Enemar gets that ball back in to the six-yard box. Keane's there, poacher's instinct, 5-1. And there we have it. Full time whistle goes. Newcastle five, Leicester one. Teixeira, Arp, Keane, all with a goal. Tadassiano with a brace, and Ian Acho getting a consolation for the Leicester boys. Other than that, Porcone, Porcone issue that we had with that Ian Acho goal. Really good performance for us. And say five one winners. So the weekend action in the league has all finished. And as you can see, we sit top of the league at an 82 points. Liverpool won their game, but they still 13 points behind us on 69. Arsenal in third. Brighton keep their top four place. Three points ahead of our, uh, Chelsea, but Chelsea do have that game in hand. And Tottenham have, and, uh, and United have two games in hand. So Brighton could slip down to sixth or seventh if they win those games in hand. As I said, we will be back for that Tottenham game in the FA Cup away at the Tottenham, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. And then we play Arsenal at home at St. James's Park. And then if you have a look in April, we have got some big, big games to come. Liverpool away at Anfield, the quarterfinal of the Champions League, Chelsea at home, and we finish the season in uh, style when we bring City to the to St. James's Park. And uh, yeah, looking for a little bit of a retribution for this, as well as uh, playing Arsenal as well. They're the, they're the only two teams that have beaten us this season. I'm really looking forward to Two away in the league, anyway. We're looking forward to bringing them back to St. James's Park and uh, beating the stuffing out of them, to be brutally honest. But that is it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you are uh, enjoying the series, enjoying this episode, why don't you go down there and hit that like button. If you're new around here and you've just not managed to do it yet, or uh, you just like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Follow it up with hitting the bell icon so you're notified every time a video goes live. And until tomorrow, half past five, as always, Tottenham and Arsenal. I'll see you soon.